Hello Capricorns and welcome to my channel. It's Indigo Goddess 1111. I am bringing you your January 4th through the 11th general and love reading. Um, I'm doing the spread a little bit different this month, so we'll see how it goes and how we like it. Um, it's going to uh, cover a little bit more broader range of your general reading. So with that, we'll get started. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this doesn't resonate, go ahead and check your other signs as they are all usually are a collective of all of your um, signs. So, Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 4th through the 11th, 2018? And homework, family, whoa, way too many. <laughs> um, and anything in general that they need to know for this week. Okay, well, your uh, work card here, or the card that represents your work, is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you may be looking for a, jo a new job. Some of you are feeling unstable. Um, some of you are trying to pinch pennies and pay bills now that the Christmas season is done. Um, but either way, you're struggling a little bit financially and just kind of feel out of sorts. So, oops. In your home, you have the Queen of Swords. So, okay, Spirit says so to split the deck now. Um, it's weird, Jim and I had these two cards in this position as well. So, um, the Queen of Swords in your um, home, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse in your uh, top. The Nine of Cups on the bottom and the Page of Wands in the center. So, okay, like I said, with work, you some of you could be looking for work. Some of you could be looking for a second job to help pay bills from the holidays. Um, either way, you feel unstable. You feel like um, you're not making enough and you're worried about supporting the family. The Queen of Swords is in your home um, area. So this reflects people who are around you in your home environment. So... Um, somebody's, somebody's cutting people out of their life. Um, you feel wronged and you feel lied to and it's, you're going to start cutting shit out. The unexpected is the seven of pentacles in reverse. So, um, you're just tired of, tired of waiting. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for something to come that you put a lot of hard work into and you're, you don't want to wait anymore. Your position in this is the Nine of Cups. Um, so you could be single, um, but your wishes are coming true. And your out overall outcome of the week is the Page of Wands. So you could be dealing with a child in your home, a fire sign. I'll go ahead and clarify with the Raider weight. Can I get a clarifying card on this Nine of Pentacles, please? Clarifying card on this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this one, the Queen of Wands in reverse. So yeah, you're just, you just feel out of sorts. Um, you're really, something may have happened over the holidays as well with a family member. I feel like um, you were attacked by like a family member, like with words. Um, and it's just really bothered you. Um, what something they said really hit a nerve. And it's really uh, made you think, and it's really bothered you. Okay. Um, with the uh, person you're cutting out, and that may have something to do with this family member that said something that really hurt your feelings, um, you're going to block them. You're going to cut communication off from them. You've realized that you don't need to, you don't need to listen to... Um, the negativity that they are, um, that they are causing you and they're really causing you to be like, not depressed, not Debbie Downer, but, um, like you're, you don't give, you don't give a crap. Um, you could be running around, you could be going out at night, you could be not coming home 
and you're going to cut off this air sign that is trying to tell you you're not doing the right thing. Um, the unexpected, you're tired of waiting. And Spirit is encouraging you to um, get grounded. That's what it's saying. Remember what your journey is. Remember what your path is. And once you start walking that path again, you will not have to wait for your pinnacles. You will not have to wait for anything to come in because you'll just, it'll be there. Um, you have your wish coming true. The thing, you are also um, single. You have nine of pentacles and nine of cups here. Um, and four queens. Wow. So, um, unfortunately, you are single because you were betrayed. You were somebody, actually somebody this week is trying to use you, trying to tell you what you need to hear to benefit them so that you will help them or give them money or something. They're making you think you're in a relationship and you're not. So you, you're feeling happy, wishes coming true. But unfortunately, I see that there's secrets and you are not the only one. You are not the only one they are telling this to. Could be dealing with an Aries or a fire sign, but more somebody that is just um, imbalanced. They are not well. This person is not mentally well. Um, they are out for themselves, but you will gain clarity by the end of the week. You will hear the truth about this person and you're going to walk away victorious. And which brings us back to the nine of cups. Awesome. The page of wands is your overall view of the week. Um, uh, could be dealing with a child, a fire sign child. Um, but they are bringing a message to you and it's going to kind of shake you up a little bit because you were, um, Counting on stability and it's going to throw you out of balance. It's going to throw your finances out of balance, but it's okay because the universe is here. Judgment is here. This is guided. Um, and look at that. So you'll be worried about money at the beginning of the week. Um, you're going to hear of there's something is going to come up that is going to um, throw you out of balance, but it's being clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, so don't worry because you will come into um, a position where you don't have to worry about it anymore because you're going to get a gift from the universe. Right now it's in reverse, so something is blocking it, but the judgment card is coming, clarifying it, and you're going to be well well taken care of. Um, so have faith. I can't say that too many times. Always keep the faith. And I know it's very hard because I have to tell myself it almost daily. Because sometimes I'm just like, there is no freaking way possible that I'm going to make it through this week without having a meltdown. <laughs> but keep the faith. The universe rewards those who are um, faithful in their journey, faithful in their, uh, in just the path that they walk. So fake it till you make it. But I always tell my kids, <laughs> even if you don't think you can tell yourself you can, because you know what, before you know it, you just did. So spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our single Capricorn, sun, moon, rising and Venus for this week? Three cards right there. Okay. So you have the judgment, um, as your central issue, uh, single Capricorn. So, um, you're separated currently from a spouse or a significant other that you had spent many years with because of lies, cheats, betrayal with the seven of swords. And it's allowing your cycle to end. Um, you have the nine of swords here. So, and the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles. So, um, by allowing yourself to release your ex, allowing yourself to move on, you are going to come into a new relationship after the world. Um, after you end this cycle, you're in this karmic cycle, you are going to have a opportunity at a new relationship offering the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. And there's your full card. I was just going to say, the only thing we're missing is the full card. And there it is. So that was short and sweet, Capricorn. Um, if you are currently separated from a spouse or um, somebody that you've been together with for years, it's time to release them. Time to let them go. 
because this is what you have coming to you. As soon as you let them go, that world will end its cycle and you will have a beautiful, beautiful, fresh start to a new beginning of a new life with somebody. So um, have faith and allow it to end. Release those exes. Release the karmic ties, bonds, and move on because it's coming. Okay, Capricorn, couples, exclusively dating and married. What messages do you Oops. What messages do you have for our uh, coupled Capricorns? Uh-oh, the Death Guard. <laughs> the Tower. Oh my goodness, Capricorns. What is going on? Okay, where'd that go? Oh, okay. So we have the Death Card as our central issue being clarified by the Tower and the Five of Swords. So, um, unfortunately, relationships are ending on the uh, committed, more seriously committed side of things as well. Um, uh, marriages and commitments are ending. The tower has come in. It has brought in information that is going to shake somebody's world to the ground and cause lots of fighting. I hear lots and lots of fighting. And it's centered around a third party. And... With the two of pentacles here, they were juggling two people. And the star card is here in reverse. So you're still going to get your wishes come true. It's just the fact that this isn't meant for you. This is not your wish. You may, even if you think it is, it's not. This is not meant for um, to be your forever and always. Somebody is trying very hard to keep this marriage going or this relationship. but And it is causing the other person to hesitate. Um, from moving on, but that was in the uh, recent past. But with the five of pentacles in reverse, you're feeling so betrayed <clears throat> and the four of cups are in reverse. So you're, one of you are, is bored and that's when the three of swords comes in. So you have the three of chalices, three of swords, um, and two of pentacles. Definite third party in this relationship and it's still going on. It's, oh my goodness. Yeah, Capricorn, um, if you are married for this group of you, I'm sorry, this message is so negative. Um, but when your first two cards out of the deck are the tower and death, um, it's usually going to be more of a downsided reading. Um, this could be you, Capricorn, or them that has the third party. Um, but Spirit is encouraging you as well as the Capricorn singles to release your ex because twin flame unions and soulmates are coming so into union so quick in the year 2018 that um, you need to release your exes. You need to heal, get balanced, stay grounded and um, heal yourself. So you are ready for the divine union that you are meant to have in this lifetime. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed your messages and I will be back next week. If this didn't resonate with you this week, try again then. Um, I appreciate you all for coming to my channel and watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I send you love and light from Indigo, and I will see you next week. God bless.